I gotta finish around. No, I, I really need to talk Pace to you. Pace me now, okay? Oh, no, go. What'd you go after? No. Get him to the wall. No, it, it can wait. No, it, it can't. can't. You're talking about Allison the whole way over here. Go after him. Um, what about Jack? Are you sure he's gonna be here for your appointment? He's yes, gonna meet you. I'm positive. Thanks for the ride. Okay. Okay, call me if you need anything. I will. All right. All right. Oh. All right. Thanks. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? Um, I check up. What happened to your hand? Yeah, it's a little accident work. I'm fine. Um, sure everything's all right with the baby? Oh, yeah. Yeah, fine. Uh, I left a couple messages for you then, Lizzie. You, you trying to avoid me? Oh, uh... Here, let's... Let's not talk about this here, okay? We'll have some privacy in here. Um... I, I am not trying to avoid you. I haven't called you back because it's, it's kind of weird for Jack. All right, if this baby turns out to be mine, Jack and I have used to feeling weird about a lot of things. I know, but it's driving me nuts. If I include Jack, then I'm excluding you. If, if you're around, then Jack retreats into his cave. That's his problem. It becomes my problem, Mike. Especially because we're trying to work things out. Okay, that's terrific, but not at my expense. You're right. I'll, I'll call you the next time I make an appointment, okay? Right. I will. I don't want to cause any problems between you and Jack. It's hard to navigate through this mess. I, I just want to be kept informed. And that is more than fair. Okay. Okay. Do you mind if I walk in Dr. Schiller's office? Okay. Yeah, I'd like that. Um, you look great, by the way. Yeah? Yes. For a beached whale. No, you love Make a lovely okay. beached whale. No, I'm growing so fast. Baby moves all the time. Really? She's moving a lot? Yeah. Can I feel it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Carly, Emily told me I could... What the hell are you doing here? Why are your hands all over my wife? Wait. Just a second, Jack. First of all, Mike's hands were not all over. You know, I don't want to hear it. Just feeling well, you, it, you baby. Time out, you guys! Look, I'm glad that you're here for Carly and her. I don't need your damn approval. Fine. Okay, how about you just calm down so you don't upset Carly? Do you mind calling me and letting me know what Dr. Schiller says? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, have you, have you talked to Molly? Carly, Molly and I are done. We're through. Well, maybe you don't know, for now. You know. Molly's happier moving on with her life. She's smart enough to live in the past. Uh, we should go, Jack. We don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. You hungry? No. That was a good appointment. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised, Jack. My blood pressure's been pretty stable for a few days. So... You still can't take any risks. Like what? You can't risk talking about Mike. You can't risk talking about the baby. We just need to walk around on eggshells while you come up with new insults that I'm supposed so to ignore. You're defending Mike now? You were completely out of line, Jack. And I'm sorry. So why did you go back for more? I didn't go back for more. Saying that Molly should move on. Well, I said that because I think it's true. Well, what about you? What about me? If the baby isn't yours, do you... Do you think that you should move on? Do you think that would be the smart thing for you to do? Jack, I really thought that you were trying. Yeah, Carly, come no, on. No, I, I, I need to say this, all right? We're still in the holding pattern, aren't we? Can I prove that to me? It was easy when I was sick, right? You snap into action. Officer Jack to the rescue. When you were being so sweet at the hospital, I... I really believe that you are getting ready to forgive me. I'm getting there. No, you're not. You're just sticking around because there's a chance this baby is yours. And what's wrong with that? Everything is wrong with that. You called her our baby, Jack. You've held me and you've, you've kissed me and you've made me feel like we have a future together. I hope we do. Well, what if the DNA doesn't fall your way, Jack? You're itching to have this fight, aren't you? If you still love me, 
Then you have to prove it to me. You say that you want me. Well, if that's true, withdraw the divorce papers. Is that an ultimatum? Are you going to call the divorce off, Jack? Yes or no, and be honest. Well, honestly, I don't know. This has all been set up, hasn't it? Moving me out of Milltown and out of Mike's place, and now here I am at Emma's with no career and not a stitch I'm of creativity left. Into this here. No, I don't. I told you I'm not hungry. Would you calm down? I'm not going to calm down, Jack. Damn it! If you're mad, be mad. If you're upset, be upset. Just be honest about it. Through all of this caring and concern, did you ever once sit me down and say, you know something, Carly, you should know that I'm still really You know what? Off yes, I am angry. I can't get the picture of the two of you together out of my head. I see you in his arms, and I see you looking in my eyes reciting those wedding vows, Carly. You're never going to forgive me. No, I, did I say that? I didn't say that. I love you. Most days, I wish I didn't. How's that for honesty? I'm sorry, I promised myself that I wouldn't do this. Look, there's going to be plenty of time to hash all this out once this baby comes. And what then? You only stick around if her chromosomes are pure Snyder. And if they're not, you check out for good, but you have a, a clean conscience, you know. Did I say you by me I was time. going anywhere? You haven't said anything, Jack. I pray every night that this baby will be a part of us. No matter what the test says after okay, she's born. Okay, and if this test says that she's Mike's, what, what, we can live with him drifting in and out for visitations and family parties? Yeah. And what am I? Uncle Jack? The sort of not really but putting full-time duty in his dad? You would be just as much a part of her life no, as Mike that would That be. is a dream, and you know it. And seeing Mike today, that, that spelled it all out for me. I'd be the third wheel in this child's life. Birthday parties. Doctor appointments. What? School plays. Father's Day. Three's a crowd, Carly. You will have the baby, and Mike will have the baby, and I'll be taking the pictures. Either way you look at it, I'm on the outside. Because you still have me. We'll still have each other, Jack. Why isn't that enough for you anymore? I am not clocking in till this birth, Carly. But how the hell am I supposed to know how I'm going to feel when I'm holding this little girl in my arms? And you cannot tell me to just get over it. I have a right to be angry and confused and a little scared. And if that's not what you want to hear right now, then too bad. But I never lied to you when I was holding you or talking about this baby. And yes, I was praying too, Carly, praying that every dream I ever had for us wasn't over. That maybe I could give myself to you and the baby no matter what. But every time I see Mike, I feel like I'm sucker punched all over again and I want to tear him limb from limb. So... Carly? I'm fine. L let me get the blood. No, leave it! No, stop. I'm fine. Don't argue with me. Just breathe, okay? I just got a little dizzy, Jack. I'm you fine now. Have a argue. Come on. Get it out, huh? Here's the baby, huh? This little smile. She's going to be chasing Parker around the house, giving him a run for his money. Yeah. Thank God. It's normal. Jack. It's all right. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> 